Alright, what's up y'all, it's like a fan here. As you can see by the title of today's video, two-way tenacity is game-changing on my 6'8 point lock center, if you will. Whatever the heck you want to call this build. It's got great on-ball defense, as you can see. <laughs> it's got great speed, driving dunk ability, and all those things included all come together to boost my offense and defense well together when having the two-way tenacity active. And man, I tell you what, this stuff goes crazy. Like, so for every single steal or block I get, or even forced turnover for that matter, like if I'm guarding a guy who just throws a passing lane, I get a then boost to my offense. And when I get like a dunk of any kind for that matter, or a drive and kick assist, I get a boost to my defense on the other end as well. So like, for instance, that right there, you can see my two-way stays lit up because I get a dunk on the offensive end and then I'm gonna be able to like you know boost up my defense and right here you can see I get the lane so now it's boosting up my offense really bad take right here as you can see <laughs> but anyway it is what it is so I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys a couple highlights right here to be able to see when it's active and what lights it up as well as the boost of just how crazy my build moves when this thing is lit up and again any dunk any single dunk lights up as far as allowing me to then uh sustain the defensive boost on the other end as well so again lane boom uh, now you can see just the speed and just absolutely shredding people down court that's 75 speed with ball fellas that's insane <laughs> so you combine the idea of me having a lot of takeover and stuff and like slice takeover is what i run and it gives me speed boost uh driving dunk and then agility and then you pair that with the fact that the two-way though i don't know what exactly and how much it boosts my ratings by it, it definitely is something so you can see though blocks for whatever reason they take a little bit longer to either pop up or sometimes don't i don't know why maybe it's like jump shot blocks don't or something like that whereas the ones on the interior definitely do at some point but you can see after catching a lob boom there pops the two-way as well again just want to show you a couple of these clips to show you how it activates as well so again alley-oop right there and now you're going to see it's lit up on defense so now we're just <laughs> again like the takeover is almost level five so you're going to see the speed that i'm moving with on this build right now is just ridiculous same with the vertical boom we're swatting that out of there <laughs> i mean bro it's insane what this does for my build and again it, it really is set up in the way where this is perfect for my build i can't think of a better build to suit for the two-way tenacity to benefit off of and last year I really was hurting over the fact that I didn't have steel and I really couldn't afford steel in my build in my opinion because standing dunk was so valuable. So I was on the 610 centers and stuff like that with the high standing, high driving, high pass act, all that. Whereas in this year's game, you're going to see like I I'm able to get away with just like 50 something standing dunk on an inside center build like this. While that allows me something more along the lines of what I had in like 2K23. And look at these. I mean, bro, play, making crazy plays out here with this. So anyway, let's get into some gameplay with this. All right. I figured it's probably a good idea. I show you guys the build first. So uh, for those who aren't familiar with this, obviously, here's a little update on it. We won't go too deep into it because I've been explaining the build in every single video that I've done of this, and I'm not going to lie. It's obviously been a lot of videos <laughs> over the last couple of days of this build. So the plan is to eventually cap break the driving dunk plus four to get Hall of Fame, uh, Hall of Fame Posterizer and Legend Aerial Wizard. And then I'll get one vertical to be able to get, again, the uh, Hall of Fame Posterizer and then also the Elite Contacts off too. So that's what we're looking at as far as that goes. I may even consider remaking the build and just give it five less driving dunk and then see what I can do with the attribute points from there. It might be more steel, more block, something like that, interior D. But anyway, I pretty much have every badge on this maxed out besides the strong handle. And also, let's just get a quick look at this as well. I really got to show you guys this, <laughs> bro. The park record is through the roof right now with this build. I mean, it's insane. 87 and a half field goal percent, 97 and a half win percent, you know, like, I mean, you can do the math on a lot of this stuff right here. It's almost an average of 10 points per game, well over an average of like five rebounds per game. And then also like the assists about two per game as well. So anyway, and again, steals, blocks, all that stuff. It's a, it's a very good, like just stat line in general and all while being on a build that can't shoot the ball. So again, I, you may think that a lot of this is just made by my teammates setting me up for success. And some of it is, but also at the same time, obviously we're able to do a lot of the slasher stuff on our own. So anyway, let's get to the gameplays now. All right, so we got a nice little threes gameplay right here. You guys are going to see, I've been really loving playing with Bonnie on this game. He's been a really good, like, counterpart as far as playing with a point guard. And then also Apollo, been great to play with in the defensive duo as well. And 
when I have a lineup like this out here, and also you can see the ATR boys on the other end of this, uh, pretty good for that matter. I, I'm sure it's not the actual ATR. If y'all don't know <laughs> some lore, Joe used to have a clan back in 2K17, and it was the ATR. And now I'm sure these guys are just inspired by it. I'm sure it's not in the actual, like, you know, uh, predecessors of that or anything like that. But anyway, you can see we have to keep the arrows out the gate. So Bonnie's on the contest right there. Yes, that's open. Yes, you might think, oh, he's 5'9", he's getting garbage contest. Let me just tell y'all. That has been the biggest deficiency of this game as far as defense goes, is the contest system is very, very rough. Now, in my opinion, I think a perfect uh, meet in the middle, like, sort of patch that could possibly go into this game would be for them to nerf steals a little bit, aka passing lanes, not so much the on-ball steals. The, the glove steals don't need any touch at all. For once, we're actually in the early years of, or early parts of a 2K where glove doesn't need to be touched at all. But... What does need to be touched is the interceptions. I think they they are quite a bit crazy. And then at, at the other end of that could be, you know, buff the shot contest a little bit. But hey, while the while the lanes are insane, we're going to really benefit off that and just completely dominate with the two-way tenacity as well. So obviously that's something that we're looking forward to. But yeah, again, I just want to give you a full gameplay of the two-way being lit up. This is one of my first couple of games of actually being the starter uh, or like the, yeah, what starter one uh, rep where you're able to get this. And man, I got to say, Good on 2K for, like, having some really good rep rewards early in the, like, expedition for it, if you will. Like, I mean, there's so many good things that you can kind of just count up on here. Like, for instance, the cap breakers are at starter 3. You got, like, the adrenaline uh, recharge at starter 2 once again. Again, you might think it's just Bonnie getting shot over, but again, like, eh, bro, I have a, I have 92 primity with gold challenger, and that's still an open, just so y'all know. And, like, that right there, yes, I mean, that's still an open as well. So, anyway, you can see anything as far as me activating a finish or anything as far as scoring goes like you can see that's lighting up two-way that's major man that's crazy so now as you can see that's buffing up my defense we get the lane right there we're out in transition so much speed boom meter dunk in transition so now once again that's the third end of possession to possession to possession that i've kept two-way tenacity so once you get in this cycle where you can start making plays over and over again it really does start to add up Right there, though, you can see we get a tip pass. Unfortunately, don't benefit off it. It is what it is. So there, right there, the two-way obviously is going to come to an end. But like I said, you can still obviously, you know, create a little bit right here. You're going to see me try to, but it is what it is. Like Bonnie's going for the wrap. So straight into the pick and roll we go. I'm going to angle this one off for a lob. I mean, man, it's been great gameplay as Bonnie started to learn how I like to play. And we're, we're picking up on how to play with each other. You know, me and Apollo coming out here on the defensive duo right here i'm letting uh i'm letting us keep arrows for the most part because they have like two ball handlers so this like two guards a little bit bigger obviously and we want to keep me on him as opposed to bonnie right there you can see good chase down opportunity while it doesn't activate my two-way because it's not a block that obviously still me having two-way on the offensive end allowed me a much better opportunity at getting that contest in the paint um i will say I'll probably show a second gameplay because why not? Honestly, it's just a little bit more effort on my end. But also a shout out to Apollo blowing that up right there. But again, dunk right there. Um, I will have a second gameplay of this video. It's going to be against less competition than this right here. But I wanted to at least give a decent set of comp to show this against. So it's not just, you know, you thinking I'm just playing against trash cans in the park all day. And I got to say tonight of the night of me recording this, me, Joey and Bonnie were playing threes and man we were playing straight comp didn't lose a single game bro <laughs> it, There's gonna be some great videos posted for you guys on this channel right now I mean <laughs> and as you can see he could have tried to play lane right there Obviously ended up just short of it. You know, I don't know what he's got for the build He might not have much steel since he's a very offensive two guard yet He's still you know six six right here setting up for the sides I'm telling Apollo I'm playing in the corner boom setting him up for that I mean man we are getting sweaty out here on the park and again once again Bonnie getting shot over like I said I know it seems like it's just because he's a 5'9", but I'm telling y'all, it's it's much more than that. I'm, I'm not even capping at all when I'm saying that. Like, truly, it is hard to get contested in this game, especially if you're not just completely tight on them. Like, I'm going to have a defensive uh, tips tutorial and, like, video very soon, and it's going to be very much so describing how, really, to play great defense in this game, you got to be up in their chest, like, 24-7. You can't really give them much space at all. With the way the snatchback is, I'm sure you guys have seen that Zach Levine snatchback, whether you use it yourself, because man, I mean, every single person on this game seems to be spamming it. And then besides that, you obviously have had to guard it for the most part if you play threes like that right there. And then they just shoot off it. It's such an unguardable move because it creates so much space. It, it stuns the defender as well. And then you can still dribble off it well. So it's literally just LeBron hop back, but better. So 
I, I hate that I'm even uh, spreading this propaganda to you guys as a viewer, but hey, I mean, obviously, if you're not using it, you should be. So just a heads up in that regard. It's 80 ball handle requirement, and obviously, you have to be under 6'10", I believe. But anyway, almost into the game here. You can see we're blowing them out pretty good. So Paolo's not going to step too much to that, but hey, he's, he's there for the pick and pop, obviously. We're on that stack, stack on the, uh, the wing and corner, if you will, so not a whole lot really doing for them right there. Bonnie's up on him tight. I'm here for the contest as well. Bonnie's playing the lane backs. So boom. Like, I mean, granted, like I said, not a whole lot of two-way activation in this video and this gameplay, but I want to at least show it against like a couple of good players. You can see right there, obviously he's set up pretty good for the lob defense. So I'm, I'm trailing in, trying to pick up the big. Bonnie's still on the guard. But once again, Levine, snatch, hit the behind the back with the pro. I mean, it's like, it's like rinse and repeat the exact same stuff from every single person who plays this stuff, bro. It's kind of insane. Again, pure lock. You're not going to get a contest on the jump contest at all. It's not like it was in previous 2Ks at all. So right here, we're going to do what I call test their stupid. I'm going to go for a lob to the opposite side of where the corner is. I got to say, they're not stupid because <laughs> they definitely played this. <laughs> they backed both guys up into the lane right here. But point of this is to set up away from this corner spot up so he can't become a problem in the slip because this is game point anytime we're at 19 or 20 points or anything like that game point is going to allow us to get an opportunity at the slip right here again bonnie probably should have shot that to be realistic i mean <laughs> they're both flying back but hey lobs broken if you want to see the video talking about the aerial wizard and just the lobs in general that's yesterday's vid but man, 16 points, 5 rebounds, 1 assist, 1 steal, 8 for 8 on the field goals as well. Also, in case you guys didn't know, I'm pairing with NBA 2K Labs again this year. So you can use my code LAKER at checkout for 20% off of any subscription link that you decide to go for. Obviously, what you're going to find on here is going to be really useful information that we're showing all across the whole screen right now. But mainly to be talked about is obviously the jump shot data. So the guys are cool enough to let me show you the information from the 2K24 premium jumper data. If you want the access to the 25 year, you'd obviously have to subscribe to their premium and, you know, using my code as well if you would like but as you can see like we have them sorted by speed right here you can sort by every one of these different individual categories right here between the fastest millisecond jump shots you can sort that by your individual height between the guards wings and bigs you can sort by speed green window the early middle and late end of the green window as well and then the total accumulation of all of that and i mean that's how i came to the conclusion that terrence man was a really good base last year combining all that information crazy stuff so again to be able to find something like this in 25 you would be able to just sign up for the premium so what you're going to do when you're ready to sign up you would just come over here and click register with whatever length of subscription you'd like to go for after you hit register it'll ask you to put in a promo code you just put in laker when you hit apply coupon right here and boom you're looking good with code laker you're gonna get 20 percent off your subscription if you guys would like to help me out i get a percentage based off your initial purchase only so a recurring bill like if you get a one month subscription i only get the one month that you sign up for initially and then anything past that i don't so if you do plan to go for like a three or a six or even a year-long subscription feel free to just you know do that if you want to support me but i understand not everybody wants to go for that so it's all good if you don't anyway appreciate you guys for watching let's get back to the video and you know actually i was gonna show you guys the other gameplay but turns out i actually wasn't even doing quite as much anyway and it was against worst comp regardless so uh, let's just leave it at that gameplay and i'll just end this on some talking over this while i'm obviously showing the highlights that you already saw in the intro i hope you all did enjoy the video if you did feel free to drop a like stuff if you new turn on notice all good stuff like always try this one to two thousand likes and if you made it to the end of the video put two way or put steel in the comments search first my way through and again i just want to stress to you guys like man I actually have another way of making this build that I think would be even more broken for activating two-way. Let's actually show you that. I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm planning to do with my, uh, like if I were to recreate the build, but also with cap breakers in mind. Cause I think this could be broken, especially with the game plays right now and especially with two-way in mind. But man, look at these lanes that I'm getting on this stuff. And like, again, the fact that this is constantly boot boosting my offense and defense, it's so fire, bro. There, there's so many utility like uh uses to this and just like how how helpful this is to be on your build and man i'm talking we're gonna have our five nines play the hashes on pro-am as well so for the for the hashes to have this as well is gonna be huge like they get activated on offense at all it's gonna buff up their defense and then if they get any steals or anything like that it's gonna buff up their offense it, this is such a huge huge thing to have early in the game so anyway, let's get to that builder real quick all right so as you can see my build is currently called a two-way rim attacker, but the way I respect it, it's called a versatile stopper. All right, so this is what we're looking at. So I just removed five driving dunk from the build. So it's going from 93 to 88. And obviously if I put those five cap breakers back into this, we can then get to the 93 the exact same way. The only thing I've really taken off the build was like two vertical, 
two offensive rebound, and then uh, I think that's about it, technically. I guess a little bit more driving late and uh, close shot. The only thing I lost badge-wise was Paint Prodigy. Kept the physical finisher, kept the layup packages I would be running and stuff like that for 70 lay, and I don't think it'd really be too much of a problem. Maybe like three standing dunk has been removed as well. But anyway, what I got in return, though, is instead of 85 steel and that gold interceptor, we're upping it to 94 to get glove and interceptor a higher level and just in general have a higher steel rating. And then also my block is going from 78, which gets the silver high flying denier and the bronze paint prodigy to gold high flying denier and silver paint prodigy. So we would be pretty much just upgrading our defensive badges in every aspect as far as the stealing and blocking related things. And obviously that would help me activate two way tenacity even more. And then I, I'm not saying I'm just playing into that. This is just a way in general that I think would be fun to recreate the build. I would not recommend at all to make the build like this uh, just as a standard way of using it. This is just what I would do as a second remake of the build. Cause I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I was planning that I, would re that I would end up making more builds in this game, but I am just in love with this build. I don't know how I could possibly do better, honestly, than just playing on the 6-8 with like good printer D, good block, good, good this, this, that, and the other, if everything that we have in this this style of upgrade. But yeah, I'd like to think this as a respec of just putting the driving dunk back into it would be really fun. And I think it has a lot of value and potential. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'd probably end up only being able to utilize just those cap breakers. So when the time comes that I got another one, I'd probably just mess around and spend my money even more which is unfortunate you know but hey i'm falling into the trap fellas i don't know what to tell you other than that <laughs> i've fallen into the trap this is a fun system and i just you know I, I appreciate it but i could obviously get to the 93 block as well but i do believe that i would need more interior d yeah for the paint patroller and then for the high flying denier i also need more vertical so technically speaking i probably could get one more vert on this if i wanted to plan for like putting the second set of cap breakers into the block i guess but I highly doubt it. I'd probably just respec it again, like I told y'all. <laughs> I don't know, like I said, what a, what a shill for 2K, you know, spending all this money. But <laughs> unfortunately, that is what it is. Like, I, I really do think this would be a fun way to recreate it. So anyway, again, it would have a different name as well with it being the versatile stopper, which is kind of interesting that I just have two different ways of playing on the build. And again, with this one right here, and actually this isn't the exact version of the build because I ended with more strength, but just picture it's the same difference, right? I had on the other build, 84 vertical with 93 driving dunk to show you what that would eventually do again don't even pay too much mind to all these ratings but to go from 93 to 97 i would then be going with one more vertical and th and uh three more driving dunk to get this with the the hall of fame poster as well as the elite contacts off too and then pretty much i would be getting the one extra dunk for the legendary wizard so i think it'd be pretty valuable those would be a good way to spend my four cap break points on the build and I'm telling you, I mean, like just in general, I'm excited for just the idea of having them as well. So in case you were wondering where you get this, it's going to be at starter one and it doesn't matter what affiliation you are. You don't have to worry about being elite or rise or anything like that. It's not anything specific. So it's just going to be two way tenacity booster at starter one. You get heat check at, at vet one for that matter, which is a long ways away, but this is going to be very big for the point guards of the world. Obviously won't be important for me. Who knows? Maybe I'll make a shooting build by this point. And like with all the cap breakers that we have along the way, which actually technically I think is only one set of them. Yeah. I think the other ones at this right here. Yeah. So vet two, who knows? Maybe at vet two, when I have like 10 cap breaker points, I'll make a shooting build because I can budget so much more on the build or something like that. But anyway, obviously, you know, along the way is going to be really important at starter three, you can get the cap breakers at starter two, you know, the general and recharge and then at starter one, the two way tenacity, anything else, not really super important. You can see along the way is just more cosmetic stuff. And then yeah, at starter four, you can get, uh, uh, the starter four animations. So that's going to be really interesting. And then take over accelerator at starter five. That's also going to be interesting to have as well. So it actually even tells you that for that matter. As you can see, it's uh, boosted by 10%. So yeah, that'd be a decent thing to get for sure. But anyway, soft video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to drop a like, sub if you're new to so notice all good stuff. Like always, try us one to 2,000 likes. And if you made it to the end of the video, put two-way or put lane in the comments to support your way through. I know I said that earlier, but hey, it is what it is. Anyway, that's all the video. Hope you enjoyed. And that, take these man. Peace.